Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Block Protect plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin that is very simple and lightweight and it allows your players to protect certain blocks such as furnaces, hoppers and chests from people stealing from them, destroying them and using other tricks to get the stuff inside. So as an example what I'm going to do is light this TNT and there's a few different blocks around here. And if we have a look you will see that all of them but one get destroyed. Now the reason for that is this one is locked whereas the other ones were not. Now this block is also a locked block and because I am the owner I can obviously get inside it. Now the cool thing you can do is actually add friends and other people on the server to a list which will allow them to get inside them. So what we need to do to lock it is pop down a chest or furnace or something like that and then we want to hold shift and right click. Now I've set it up so that it is locked by default but if you want to turn that off we can do the forward slash block prot command and then we're going to go to settings. Now once we're here on the left we've got the lock automatically and you can see it's kind of glowing a little bit that means it's on so I'm going to turn that off for now and then manage friends so if there was anyone else on the server what I could do is click their name here and add them as a friend either universally or to a certain chest and then we can also make something public and if you don't want that you can uh, remove that friend or everyone as well and now they're gone. Now if you have a very busy server you can actually search for people here which is uh, pretty handy. So now that I've turned the locking automatically off we can place down the chest and shift right click. So now what we can do is using this GUI we can either go back or lock it so let's go ahead and lock the chest and then shift right click again and we've got some settings. So let's go ahead and look at the redstone settings. This is just a toggle on and off so you can click these to enable or disable them and there's a disable and enable all button, very straightforward. Manage friends, so this is where you can locally manage friends for a certain block, so for this specific chest and you could add everyone or just one person or two people. And then the block names, this allows you to kind of keep track of them, so we're going to call this chest1 and then we can hit back. So because I've done that and I've enabled piston protection, it will not allow me to move it using a piston or destroy it using a piston same for TNT and other redstone tricks now there's a few other commands so if we do the block prot command um, and then go to statistics uh, let's go ahead and look at all of my blocks so I've got five of them and as you can see each one of them says its coordinates and two of them I've named so I've got furnace one and then chest one which we just created um, and that allows you to keep track of it. If you ever forget where it is, you can find the coordinates and go back there. Now there's only a couple other commands that you want to use. Um, there is the reload command if you change anything in the config file. And then the update command if there was an update. So that is how we would use it in game. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMP control panel. And as you can see, there's two folders and a config file. So we've got the language folder, integration. So this actually works with other plugins like Towny and WorldGuard. And if we go into the config.yml, there's a few things in here we can change. So if you want to change the language, you can do that. And let's scroll down so you can exclude certain worlds if you don't want people in, say, creative using it. Um, do you want it to be locked uh, when you place it down by default? Yes or no. And then the max amount of locked blocks. Do you want every single player to have infinite locks or maybe just 10 or so like that? And then if we scroll down, we've got the friend search similarity. So that's pretty cool. You can change that, how close it has to be for someone's name to uh, show up in the search. And then here is a list of all the lockable entities. Obviously, you can add and remove them at your discretion. And then we've actually got shulker boxes, which we can lock as well. And then some other ones as well, um, such as gates and anvils. So you can mess around with that, but honestly, you don't really need to change too much in there. But here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.17 to 1.19. There's some pretty nice images. This is what the Friends GUI looks like if you have people on your server. And you can just click on their name to add a friend and then click on their name to remove the friend. And here are the permissions that you would use in order to lock one and then have that admin bypass. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.